Inside Geelong's dressing room, they seem to care little for predictions of a Hawthorne victory. Alistair Lord, last year's Brownlow medal winner, back from injury, received special attention. Here's a trivia question. Who ran out third behind the captain and the vice-captain for Geelong in the 63 grand final? Captain Fred Wooler burst through, leading his confident band, who are too strong for the Hawks in the semi-final. And we, we raced out in between all the boys, and um, as we were going around, I could see the policeman standing there watching as I was coming back towards the race, and he said to me, hey, you! Happy Hammond's romp onto the MCG symbolised the carefree spirit of Geelong in the 60s. Well, the coach was just a happy-go-lucky fellow that used to say, we'll go out and win again today. Here's Geelong's Bob Davis. The Geelong Flyer, he was called, when he played on the half-forward flank for Geelong and for Victoria, and now coach of the Premier team, Geelong. Davis had been a star in the 51 and 52 Premierships when Reg Hickey pioneered the running game with 23 consecutive victories. Winning and grinning, Davis toughened his men on the sand dunes. When we'd finished, we'd go and have a swim. And then we probably undid all our work because we'd have a barbecue on the beach. Uh, I feel that we've got uh, one boy here in particular who you know, won't worry about Woods or Bromwell at all. What's his name? A uh, boy called Newman, John Newman. Puts it back here. Young Sam Newman was to win many hearts, though not with this slap to Billy Barrett's kisser. But it was another Geelong ruckman who revolutionised football, West Australia's Graham Polly Farmer. I'd like to get with a club, uh, club that uh, is not in the four, and yet it has a chance of getting into the four. So I dialed the uh, Geelong Exchange, and I said, look, it's Bob Davis here from the football club. I want you to ring Perth, just ring the Perth Exchange and say, you want to speak to Graham Farmer? And she said, but what is his address or phone? I said, they'll know who he is, just, just ring them. And I reckon within three minutes, he was on the phone. Farmer's transfer fee from East Perth in 1962 cost Geelong £1,500. Worth it. He earned more than that the first day in a practice range when we used to charge two bob to go into the game. We had 15000 at a practice match, just to see. Farmer in 1962 would spend as much time then on his game as the present day players do now. Farmer never spoke to me, never told me how to play, never gave me advice, but his great silent contribution to coaching a side or uh, being an example was just that if you were around him, you could just see how the game was played. Farmer goes up, In this centenary year of football, it is very apt to say that Graham Farmer is the only individual person that I've seen change the game. He changed the game because of his style. He changed, he brought the ball down and handballed it away, you know, and really put a new emphasis on, on football. With an overall tally of 15 goals, 19 behinds, 109, Geelong defeats the Hawks, 8 goals, 12, 60. And Bob Davis receives congratulations for his part in the victory. Baldock is the captain of St Kilda. He's married, has a small son and a baby daughter.